In this tutorial video, I'd like to show how we work with virtual characters in Maestro Designer. We support different types of 3D file formats like OBJ, Colada, DXF, GLTF and many more. The separate FBX importer allows the import of virtual characters with skeleton animation, in this case a football player. So I double click the model and import the model with animations. The 3D model has an own layer in the scene tree of Maestro Designer. After the import, I do some changes on the scaling, position and rotation to bring the character in place. So first, scaling, now some rotation and some changes on the position. It's minus and five. For a better look, I change the material. So I use flat shading and white. To see the bone structure, I can click on show skeleton. And now you see the skeleton inside the character. You find here an animation group with the animation of this uh, football player. So I, first of all, I change the name and then I go back and hit play. By the way, the model is from the Repronauts in UK. Repronauts is a 3D creation lab in London. Big thanks for allowing me to use this great realistic virtual 3D model. That's really great. Now I like to add some animation to this character. To do so, I add an empty animation channel. Then I go into my properties and drag and drop the head animation to my stack in my asset window. So I drag and drop this head animation and do here as well some keyframing. So start with 0, 30, minus 30. With the spacebar, I can go 10 frames forward. And at least we have this animation was pretty fast, so we can slow it down. We can change the timing, and now you can see it's much slower. Okay, I close properties, and then I go into my animation window, where you see now the animation of the head. For keyframes, currently linear. So I can choose Bezier curves to have a smoother animation. Voila. Next, I go back to my scene tree and inside my asset window, I have here a tab with a football. So next, I drag and drop this football to my um, scene tree. And this football has as well an animation. You can see the animation here. To combine all these three animations, the football, the head, movement and uh, the player, I define here a master animation group. When I go back to my animation view, I can load now, first of all, the player, second, the football, and at least the head animation. So when I move, when I zoom, out of that uh, window, I can take the animation of the head and move this more here to the end, uh, let's say to frame 600. Then I take the uh, football and move the football, let's say to frame 300, like this. And I can play the whole animation with the soccer ball and the movement of the head. Of course, we have an arena as well. So when I go back to my scene tree, I can turn on the arena. I can add shadows as well, and I can work with uh, flare effects to have a better and more realistic look. Voila. Thanks for watching.